The topic of today's talk is instrumentation. I'm here together with Rahman Chamal. He is Technical and Marketing Director Europe of National Instruments. Welcome, Rahman. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, so, Rahman, would you please be so kind and uh, tell us a little bit about the major trends going on in the ins instrumentation mm -hmm. market at the moment? Sure. So for many years, um, the instrumentation model uh, has not changed. Uh, it has basically stayed the same. Um, anybody, uh, sci scientists or engineers wanting to make measurements would basically purchase a fixed function uh, instrument defined by the vendor, and then he would try to make uh, measurements uh, using that box. Um, we see, for example, uh, if, if you look at spectrum analyzers in the RF area, you see that the box has kind of stayed the same over the decades. Uh, of course, the boxes have more functionalities and performance, but the basic philosophy didn't change. Whereas if you look at the computer industry, you see a major shift from mainstream computers to desktop all the way to tablet PCs. Um, so there is a dramatic change happening where you see all sorts of benefits uh, such as cost reduction, performance increase, um, consumption uh, going down. So um, the question of course arises is that, uh, you know, can we not use this same uh, uh, power that's coming from uh, the computer industry for test and measurement area? And I has always been uh, riding on this wave of the computer technology using all the benefits coming from the commercial off the shelf. Uh, area. One example um, where you clearly see that the fixed function hardware is becoming more of a, a legacy idea, where you look at the cell phone vendors really struggling to keep up uh, with software based um, smartphones, uh, very difficult for them to keep up with that. Um, so we really have to rethink the way we do instrumentation. And of course, uh, 26 years ago, and I uh, changed the way uh, scientists and engineers think about instrumentation with the introduction of NetView. And uh, this uh, new way basically uh, takes off the limitations of uh, vendor-defined instrumentation. And I'm, of course, happy to be here to announce and introduce a new product uh, called the Vector Signal Transceiver, um, basically an RF device made of four traditional RF instruments so a vector signal analyzer, a vector signal generator, digital I.O. and programmable FPGAs, all in one three-slot um, PXI form factor. So it doesn't seem that you have changed the box. So what mm -hmm. is then the, uh, what did you change? What is the, right. the, the interesting thing? Yes, yeah, so basically um, we have introduced a new paradigm shift uh, and introduced uh, the notion of software de designed instrument. Uh, and what does that mean? It basically means um, the user now don't have to think about how can I make my box do what the uh, vendor intended. Mm -hmm. Now you can rather think about, hey, what do I need to do with my instrument and how can I make it do? So he becomes much more creative um, than uh, trying to adapt his needs to the vendor-defined architecture. So you asked me the question about the box and it is a big deal. It is fundamentally a box, a PXI box, but the modules uh, that go in the PXI uh, box with the software capabilities, that is what makes the difference. And this, uh, what does this mean in, in a technical point of view? Yes, so uh, looking at this box, um, we have a chassis, PXI chassis with a controller. Uh, on this controller um, and on, on the platform, you have all the softwares that you need uh, to make all the changes you'd like. Um, you can go all the way through uh, down to the firmware um, of the instrument, uh, make changes um, and uh, adapt it to the needs that you have. And that's the true power of software designed instrument. Just another word about a box. Mm -hmm. what, is, uh, yeah, uh, what is the acceptance of PXI in the market at the moment? Yes, so PXI um, is a mature standard. Um, it is uh, supported by many, many vendors. Uh, we have currently over 100,000 deployed systems, uh, over 600,000 modules uh, mm -hmm. that are deployed. It's a very rich ecosystem. 
uh, supported by um, 55 vendors uh, with over 1,500 um, different types of products. Um, and of course, NI, as the inventor and the leader of PXI, uh, also has a number of products um, like controllers, chassis, and uh, modules. But it's actually um, PXI is much more than uh, controllers, chassis, and, control and modules. It is the software that ties the whole system together and gives uh, the user the power uh, to customize uh, depending on his needs. Okay. So have you got uh, a real-world uh, example to demonstrate uh, and prove the advantages of uh, LabVIEW and PXI? Absolutely. So without a real-world example, a product would not mean anything. Um, we have been seeing since the introduction of PXI in 1997 a lot of different types of applications uh, coming out in the different a a industrial areas. Uh, you can see a number of uh, those type of solutions on our website. Uh, but let me um, get back to a very current example based on the VSD, the Vector Signal Transceiver, mm -hmm. that we just introduced. Um, so in the area of cell phones, uh, smartphones, um, the companies who are on the leading edge uh, are very challenged with the upcoming wireless uh, standards. Uh, and one of the companies uh, on the leading edge is Qualcomm Etheris. Mm -hmm. And Qualcomm uh, basically um, would like to reduce their test time and uh, validation uh, process uh, using a platform that, that kind of is adaptable. So in 2007, they looked at NI uh, and made a move from uh, their traditional rack and stack uh, philosophy to a PXI-based platform, um, uh, testing the 802.11n standard at the time, and they saw a reduction of 10x in test time. And then uh, recently when we introduced the VST, uh, they employed the VST uh, in the PXI platform um, to test the upcoming 802.11 um, 802 AC mm -hmm. standard. Uh, they saw a test reduction time of about 200x. So that is the true power of software designed instrumentation where the user can become the creator rather than being limited uh, by the vendor who then makes him just use uh, the instrument. Thank you very much. You're welcome.